Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulill going through some things and talking about how uh, he really wish he knew what he could say in the Hebrew when he's praying, you know, when he's going through certain things and situations that he's going through. And I was telling the brother, you know, don't get discouraged, don't get weary or faint hearted because uh, we're not we're not perfect. You know, we're not going to be speaking the Hebrew fluently up until the last, you know, the last couple of seconds of this thing, you know. So in the meantime, don't worry about it. And I had some scriptures for the brother and I figured I'd just make a video because there might be some more elect out there who are thinking to themselves, they wish that they, uh, let me turn this music down. They wish that they uh, knew, knew what words to say, you know, but it's not always about knowing exactly what words to say to you. How about Shemiah was shot? So I got these scriptures to uh, help out the elect, you know, to uh, encourage and build our brother's spirits who may be going through these things and uh, experiencing battling with these demons, uh, you know, telling you that you're not saying the right things and the Most High is not hearing you or something, you know, which is not the case. So here I want to start with Romans 8 and 16, where it says, uh, likewise, the spirit also help, helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the spirit itself make intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So sometimes you're going to go through things and you're not, you're not going to know what, what you should say or what you should pray, you know. But your spirit, because if you're sincere in the truth of your Bashem Yahashah and you have faith, you know, your spirit itself, or your spirit itself makes intercession, meaning it intercedes, it's, uh, it steps in for you with your groanings. And no matter, and your groanings, if you're sighing, you know, or literally crying, you don't know what to say, the Most High is already reading your thoughts. Remember, Yahweh Shah had the power of telepathy. You know, so as long as you call on your high shot and you know, and you're groaning in your spirit, you may not have the exact words to say, the most high is still going to hear you. This is Sirach 35 and, uh, and starting at verse 13. It says, he will not accept any person against the poor man, but will hear the prayer of the oppressed. He will not despise the supplication of the fatherless nor the widow when she poured out her complaint. So, you know, this this is a good scripture because uh, we're all being oppressed. The one-third, 144,000, we're all being oppressed together. And I will say this, you know, for the, the for the very few Akwa, the sisters that are out there, um, you don't know what to say to the Most High in the Hebrew when you're growing and you think he don't hear you. Well, it doesn't matter because it says, nor the widow when she poured out her complaint. All right, verse 15, it says, Do not the tears run down the widow's cheeks? And is not her cry against him that causes them to fail? In another fold, that goes for the whole nation of Israel, because we're known as a widow, okay? We're known, you know, as a, a, a widow waiting, you know, waiting to be married unto Yahweh Shah. All right, verse 16, it says, He that serves the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds says the prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds and that's another thing if you're humble and you're truly sincere your prayer will get up to the heavenly father and it says until it come nigh he will not be comforted and will not depart till the most high shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment so that's what you have to keep in mind if you're humble and you're sincere when you're begging the most high in your groanings you may not necessarily know what to say in the lashwan kudash the Most High still already knows what you need and what you don't need, you know, and he's going to execute judgment for you. Whether you like it, the judgment, or whether you don't like the judgment, the Most High is going to give you according to what your lot is, you know, and like the scripture says, he's not going to tempt you more than uh, you can't handle. He always makes a way to escape. Uh, now, this is the most important thing, Hebrews 11 and 6, uh, about faith. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High. What's it mean to come into the Most High? When you pray, when you're groaning, when you're groaning, you're coming to the Most High. It says, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. See that belief, 
when you're groaning, you have to believe. When you're groaning and the demons are messing with you, you can't think to yourself, oh, the Most High is not hearing me because I don't know what I'm saying properly. You know, I'm not arranging my words correctly so that he hears me. No, if you believe, all right, your belief is what's going to get you saved. It's what's going to allow your prayers to reach unto your Habashim al It says, for he that cometh to the Most High Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him through Yahweh Shai. Because remember, Yahweh Shai is the creator. All right? Now, uh, the last scripture I have here is in James. All right, James 1, and I'll start at 4. It says, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and, and entire, wanting nothing. It says, If you lack... If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, all right? You have to ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Now that man is talking about the man who is wavering, all right? When you come to the Most High to, to pray, or in your groanings, you may not necessarily know what to say. You still have to keep your faith. Didn't Job say, though the Most High slay me, I will retain my integrity? Okay, so when you're groaning, although you may not know exactly what to say, all right, your spirit itself make an intercession for you, okay? And, and when you're praying, you can't be wavering. Because if you're wavering, then you, you, then you have every right to think that you may not receive something because you're doubting. All right, because without faith, it's impossible to please him. And you have to believe, you have to believe that he's going to, you know, help you out, you know, strengthen you. And uh, of course, I'm going to leave brothers with a couple of Hebrew words where you can just say, Yahweh Shai and just say these words at the end, you know. This is Yahweh, you say Yahweh Shemel Shai, Isaiah, uh, you say Yahweh Shemel Shai, Padaya, which means redeem me, or Yahweh Shemel Shai, Rapaya, which means heal me. Okay? Isaiah, uh, uh, Padaya, and uh, this is heal me, Rapaya. Okay, so these are some of the things that you can say when you are groaning, and these are easy, you know. So. I know you, I know brothers are battling those demons. I just got off the phone with a brother and someone told me to make this video and I know brothers are out there and are catching hell, you know, so when you pray to your Havai Shemiah Shai and your groanings, if you can remember these words, it will, it will help a lot, you know, it will help tremendously. You got Izaria, Izar means help, the Yah on the ends makes it possessive, so Izaria, help me, Padaya, redeem me, or Rapaya, heal me and those are the common things that you know we need we need to be helped we need to be redeemed and we need to be healed and ultimately saved out of this place so with that i'm going to close this lesson uh or you know not really a lesson but just a uh, exhortation if you will for the elect of yahweh shemel shah yahweh shemel shah barak uh lava and uh shalom